Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 152. We missed last week because I was off at a wedding. Uh, no, not mine. And uh, we're back, so we're going to have a little bit more than usual to triage. Um, but we're going to kind of call it there for today. Uh, as always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here right now. Uh, so be careful what you say. Anyway, triage, and then we'll do questions, comments if people have them. Um, I'll have a tiny little update because, hey, we're making some progress on Wix 4, which is probably the extent of my update. But anyway, triage. Bob, you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, I know. I flew through that. Sometimes you're kind of like, uh, wait. Um, adding to the Wix documentation. Uh, this was merged, so... Uh, was it not labeled properly? It probably wasn't labeled properly. Um, I can do that. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Why don't you assign it to me and... Um, I don't know. This can go away. It's been merged. There are simple updates to say where to update documentation, which was all good. So that's been done. Documentation on how to install a Windows service. Uh, Bob, you said you had a couple comments on this, so I didn't merge this one. So I was like, kind of letting it hang out. I assigned myself, and we'll take a look. All righty. Um, heat documentation update and reorganization. Um, he has some comments about how to update the heat documentation, improve it. Okay. That sounds sip. Then, I don't know, I guess we just are waiting for someone to implement this. Just a Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't use heat, so I'm not a great person to uh, volunteer to write your documentation about it. Yeah, so, um, yeah, let's, uh, we could give it back to this person and say, hey, yeah, sure, that'd be great. If you want to do that, we don't use heat. So just point at the right file, maybe. <laughs> Add it to this file over here. That'll be good. I think that's the comment we should leave here. And then leave it open in 3x, I guess. Unless someone wants it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess 3x is okay. All right. Um, that's heat. Um, clarification on getting. Oh, that's really weird. We got a bunch of doc issues late just now. Um, should the parallel directory in step three be named thanks for reading could be clarified these need to be updated slightly so that they match our current names of files maybe oh this curly base curly base thing isn't being replaced but people probably know what that means um, The step two include the SDK, SDK subfolder. Oh, this uh, so this is a problem. Um, yeah, <clears throat> this is a this, the problem here is the the zips and the installer have a slightly different layout. Slightly layout. Yep, they do. And it's been you know a breaking change forever, so we can't fix it in three. Well, probably we should three. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think it'll be a problem in four. So this is definitely a three X thing that we do. I'll volunteer to take a look at this. All right. Won't take long to decide what to do there. Probably not. Strange rich edit behavior in burn with Turkish keyboard. Oh my. Burn that. Turkish language command uh, run installer quit the installer you can cancel it notice the keyboard active keyboard layout in three and four okay well it doesn't change so it's still be actual result the active changes to the previous one before it was ENG okay only Turkish concluded the bug is in rich edit control okay Activate keyboard. All right, fine. Use the newer MSFT edit class. 
It's the, the old one. <clears throat> to load MSFT edit to replace that. This already exists on Windows XP SP3. Well, that's good. It was perfect as a drop and replacement. Um. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know that we're going to fix this in three. Um, I guess we put this at four. I don't know. If this is interesting enough in four, we probably should do it. Yeah. Um, it's. I'm. I'm more comfortable doing this in four anyway, just because. Um, you know, we need to investigate. Yeah, you know, what the breaking changes would be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's a if it's a breaking change, um, I mean, I know we've talked about. Um, what we do as far as Windows XP and Wix 4, there hasn't been a lot of uh, pushback on the idea of dropping XP support, uh, which would be kind of nice. Yeah, indeed. Um, so, but I, we just, I think we just have to investigate and make sure that, you know, a little bit of investigation, so Wix 4 makes yep. me feel more comfortable. All right, let's put it in Wix 4. Okay. It's one of those things that will get picked up. I'm confident. Error, heat 5052. Uh, 3.11 on Windows 10. Directory could not be found. OK. The directory, this cannot be found. Project MV prepared success. I don't, what does this mean? Do those the above reheat. I, I don't. This is another like one of those um, uh, file sensitivity issues, <laughs> case sensitivity issues. Oh, um, case sensitivity. File sensitivity is an interesting sorry, topic. Case, file case sensitivity issue. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's no information here to know what's going on. Um, is this a support thing? Should we just stick to yes. support? Yes, because there's... I think that's the right place to start. I think you're... I don't know why I didn't start there. You're right. This, there's nothing to do with this thing. It's like, you hit an error. Great. What is that? <laughs> Go figure that out. <laughs> yep. Uh, 3.11 creates product version. You know, we should get rid of product version. What's it in there for? It's in there to help migration, which we haven't had any migration in forever. Um, yeah, fine. Give this to me. I'll go update the templates, make them 314 or something. <laughs> we'll just skip 311 completely. Although this is in Votive, so yep. it's yep. not version specific. Right. Can we just drop it? I, I, I'll look at it. Okay. I'll see if I can. Um, I'll look at it. All right. Convert all Wix documentation into a wiki. Uh, we are definitely not moving to a wiki. I've had nothing but bad experiences with wikis pretty much everywhere I've ever been, um, especially things that are out on the internet that people can sign in and do stuff with. Or because not sign in. Or, or not, or sorry, not sign in. Well, even if they can't, like, it just, they get vandalized, like, massively. It's a horrible experience. However, this does have me thinking about something, so it's not a topic I want to cover this week, but in two weeks I have an idea. So why don't we give this to me, um, and I will come back. Just give this to me, and I will come back. Uh, leave it no label. Give it to me, no label, and we'll talk about it in two weeks. Or we're not going to talk about it in two weeks. When I have more, hopefully, in order about some of the thoughts I have want to do around all of our documentation being spread all over the place and so on and so forth. Um, this next one is interesting. Burn patches fail to install when multiple patches are present. Um, it, it might be interesting, but there's, and I requested authoring and logs because, I, I, I mean, I know Burn pretty well, and I didn't really grok what he's saying here. I wonder if it's like slipstreaming or something. But, well, that's, yeah, that's an important aspect that would be revealed with authoring. Yep. Um, but even if it's not, it's like I, I'm uh, the little, um, yeah, the code blocks there, I'm not sure what. I don't either. 
I don't I don't know what that means. You know, 1642 is I believe you know, missing target. So that seems fairly normal. But yeah, uh, there's definitely not enough information to start. Right. We'll let this float for two weeks and see if we get more information on it. Yep. Wix toolset not deducted by Visual Studio. Better not be deducted. Closed, open, closed again. <laughs> uh, not a bug. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, yeah, burn or Windows install. Yeah, that's the question, Jacob. You're right on that patching thing. Which is which? Okay, okay, back. Uh, anything anybody wants to talk about right now? Jacob, Sean, you guys got anything? Um, all quiet out there? No. Nope. For you guys? No. So, yes. <laughs> um, so, uh, after a very long year, honestly, um, I'm finally back and having some free time and making progress through um, the <laughs> to Wix floor, and it's kind of nice. Like, hey, I'm fixing things. So I am been doing a bunch of ex uh, experimentations, change things around, stuff like that, and I'm not quite to the point where I'm comfortable with them yet. That I think they're good or bad ideas. I'm pretty close. So along with that documentation thing, I think next week will be a longer meeting. Um, or yeah, probably a longer meeting where I want to talk about progress that's been made on Wix 4 and what's going on and um, where we're going um, in the near term and things like that um, and get some feedback. But I think things are starting to kind of come together and gel a little bit more and experiments are starting to work. So I'm, 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 I'm hopeful, but not far enough along in the last few days that I feel comfortable saying, yes, this is going to work. Huh, but I will in couple weeks, I expect. So, that's my big thing on Wix 4. Yep, yeah, uh, that's great, Jacob. There have been, I saw more conversations on the Twitter thing about the um, case sensitivity on the file system, and the guy that worked on the Windows side, the PM that's on the Windows side of that, was like, um, yeah, turn on case sensitivity. It wouldn't be a problem, they said. <laughs> so apparently there was an internal debate even inside Microsoft about the right thing to do there. Um, and I'm, I guess we're, we're going to find our way through. Um, but we should generally work properly without futzing with the file system. So um, it would be kind of interesting to have a better under, uh, understanding of what's going on there. So I am interested in whatever you root cause that bug. There was somebody else that hit it. Yeah, well, we have a we, we have a root cause. We just have to figure out why we're hitting it, because we should not be mucking with paths in general. So it should be whatever they typed is what you get. And for some reason, it seems like that's not what's happening in some cases. So that'll be a good bug to have to take care of. Um, Sean's all good right now. Um, Bob, I guess you're good. Um, well, someone might have complained that I didn't do the whip I said I would do, but no one did, so I'm in the clear. <laughs> it's been too long. Um, a month between meetings is too hard to remember. Yes, exactly. Um, all right. Well, two weeks then. Uh, we'll have a good discussion about Wix 4, I anticipate. And uh, we'll do our usual triage thing and anything else that people want to bring up. Um, and I guess until then, yes, yes. All right, until then, uh, you guys take it easy. See you later. Bye. Bye.